So, um, is there anything, Jack? This is really great. I mean, this has just been a uh, uh, just been a really good conversation. I'm wondering, um, is there anything that I didn't ask you that you wish I had, or is there anything more you would like to add to to what we've talked about so far? Uh, anything that got left out that you can think of? Uh, I'll probably think of it in about 20 minutes. <laughs> you can hang on. <laughs> uh, no, I think you've asked some, some great questions. Um, uh, am I supposed to say why I use upper canine stressors? <laughs> well, you don't have to, but it would be great. You know, I'd be glad, I would why be glad do you to use upper canine yeah. stressors. <laughs> I would be glad to. Uh, like I said, you know, the, to me, the painting process begins not more. Not not talking about the conceptual part, but the actual physical part of the painting begins in, in the preparation of materials. And for an artist working on canvas, obviously, I mean your bones are the stretchers. Mm -hmm. And uh, once I discovered upper Canada stretchers, I don't know how many years ago it was, but I mean, you guys are still fairly young. And um, I I got my first set of stretchers and. What struck me was how well they went together. I didn't have to get the mallet out to pound them together. The wood didn't split. They just went together together like butter. Mm -hmm. And not only that, but they were dead square. Yeah. You know, as, as soon as you put them together and put the put the put the square on on the corners and do diagonal measurements, nine point nine pounds out of ten, they're dead square. Mm -hmm. And the other great thing is they take a staple. Um, so so well, and um, the other great thing I like about your your standard stretcher bars is that they've got a great width to them, which makes them sturdy. But they've got a thin profile, mm -hmm. which means that your framing options. I mean, you can use just about any frame you want to, because I know a lot of people, you know, collectors of paintings, they don't like the canvas to stick out behind the, the frame. You know, yeah. just when they hang it on the wall. The frame's not floating, and then you see this edge of canvas. Yes. With, with the standard bar, you've got that thin profile, so it slips right in flush to the back of the frame, which is, yep. I mean, I think that's great. Mm -hmm. um, the bracing systems you've got, I mean, they're, they're just they're perfect. Uh, the key system, you know, you don't have to ask for keys. <laughs> you, know, you don't have to uh, ask for anything special, and then your, your, your service and personal attention. Um, you know, it's like it's like working with you know your local custom stretcher maker right down the corner, you know, right mm -hmm. down the street. So that's, that's really that's great to hear all of that. That's a, all of that is exactly what we try to do. I mean, very consciously try to do. Uh, you know, provide absolute unconditional service to serve our customers with what they need, fix anything that goes wrong. Um, and, and 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 provide the top quality. More importantly, I'm hearing anyway is the consistency, that like keeping it going year after year after year. You always know you can come back and get the same quality every year. Right. It doesn't change. Well, it's always been a mystery to me why. You know, I mean, why stretchers have always been sort of an afterthought for artists. Yeah. I, mean, I think I think in the summer they they're kind of particular. It's almost like each step up along the process, artists put a little more emphasis on. So, you know, the stretchers were just sort of like the step child. You know, you, don't, you just get your stretchers. A little more thought goes into the canvas, you know, and then a lot more thought maybe goes into the preparation, and then a lot of thought goes into the paint. Well, but why not start with that lot of thought with the stretchers? Mm -hmm. Because that, that's really where it starts, and, and give equal attention to every you know, material that you, you have to yeah. put together to make the, make the canvas. That's a great thought, actually. It, it means you don't have to come back later on wishing you'd spend more time at the beginning because of the things that well, went wrong. Right? You know, everybody, everybody likes <clears throat> to think they buy their materials from a company that is conscientious about what they do. And, you know, a lot of times you're, you're just ordering stretchers from a catalog. You don't know where these things are coming from. No. You know, they're splintered and they're, you know, they're bent sometimes. They're warped. And, you know, up at Upper Canada, you know, this is your business. This is what you do. That's right. And you take, you take pride in it. 
And, I mean, I wouldn't buy my paint from somebody who just really didn't care. Yeah. You know, I wouldn't buy paint from somebody who's, you know, uh, yep. professional, that's their business, well, and specters are the same way. Way to go. Well, we're all one community. <laughs> we yeah, just I'm have different sure. jobs Absolutely. in that community, right? Yeah. <clears throat> all right, well, thank you very much. It's great. Um, <clears throat> well, it's 